Hey guys, Amovie How To here, and today I'll be showing you the new features in Amovie 2.1 for iOS 8. So let's first make a sample project by pressing the plus icon, and we can select the sample theme, press create, and the first new change in this version is this new video import screen. So now all your video clips are sorted into groups like all recently added favorites, iMovie Media, and iCloud Drive. Below iCloud Drive, iMovie shows video albums from your Photos app. And if you go to all, you can see all your videos. If you go to recently added, you see a list of videos that were recently added. Versus before, it was just one big list of all the videos. Now you can just sort them. So I can just go back to all and select a video clip I want to import, like this one. Press the down arrow. So most of the features in this new update come from when you tap on the video clip or photo. So if you do this, you'll see a bunch of new buttons on this bottom toolbar here. So there's this bottom row of icons, these are like the different like tools, and this top row of text labels, these are the different functions related to those tools. So the one on default that's selected is the snipping slash clip trimmer tool. And now there's a dedicated split button on there. There's now a new speed tab, which you can adjust the speed to make it slower, the clip slower or faster. There's a sound volume adjusting tab. And there's a new text tab where you can add titles. There's the usual standard theme title, but now there's also various other title styles that are borrowed from the desktop version of iMovie. Then finally, there's a filters tab which adds 10 new filters to iMovie on iOS. So here's like Black and white, blast, blockbuster, blue, camo, dreamy, duotone, silent era, vintage, and western. Adding these filters can put a new mood on your video. Also new features, if you go back here and you press on the share icon, you can now share an export clip to any external supported app, such as Google Drive or even another iOS video editor. One last feature in this update is the ability to edit individual videos quickly with the iMovie extension inside the Photos app. So what you can do is we can tap on a clip here in the Photos app, click on the dot icon in the right hand corner, and then you can, as you see here there's like a mini iMovie interface where you can access those toolbar controls right in the Photos app. So you can do quick editing to your video clips. Thank you for watching this iMovie update video. If you found this video helpful, or you want to see more iMovie on iOS videos, like this video, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.